everybody welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going to be teaching you guys on how to use the bams in roblox studio so before we start the video please make sure to like and subscribe with notification bell on so you won't miss any of my videos all right let's get started but before we start scripting uh please make sure you have the explorer properties and then the output tabs open so if you do not have them uh, open you have to go on view uh if you don't know where the view is it's just uh, beside the test and then pl plugins okay um let, now here are the explorer properties and output just open them if you don't have them okay uh now let me explain to you what is the purpose of the bounce uh, the bounce uh it only happens um if you uh, it only happens once or maybe it, you can use the bounce as a cooldown uh here let, let me show you a demonstration so that you will get it so let's say you want to make a coin game uh, you want uh, you want players to touch this thing to get coins uh, let me just make it color green so it looks more like a a coin generator wait no how about how about yellow yeah that looks like, that looks more like a coin generator okay so um let's uh, let's insert a script inside of a part uh, to insert a script inside of a part uh, go in explorer uh, uh press the arrow here in the workspace if it's uh showing like this and then after you press it it's like um it's like pointing down so that means uh it's already showing the children of a workspace service okay now we have a part and now um you have to point your um mouse to the part and then you will see a plus button just click it then insert a script okay so in the script you will see the print hello world and we will remove that okay so uh, let's let's do this a script dot parent touch connect function there you go. okay okay um i made i made an event script if you guys do not know um how to use event script uh just watch my video about um e event scripting uh, so that you will guys get it on how to use the event scripting okay so now i'm going to make it print uh coin collected okay okay now uh, let's play uh, or maybe test okay so we're inside the game and this is the coin generator so as you can see when if i touch it it, it will print a lot of times Co uh, the coin collected will be printed a lot of times because all of my body body parts in Roblox are touching it at the same time. Uh, as you can see, I have a head, left foot, left hand, left arm, uh, and uh, etc. Uh, I have I, um in Roblox R15 thus many um body parts. Okay, so we're going to fix this by using um debounce. Okay, lo local debounce equals false. Okay, we're using the uh, we're using the false. Okay, so let, let's cut this or maybe delete it. Well, I I'm going to cut it because I will paste it later. Okay, so um, if not debounce, then so so um, if this is basically if if true then, right? If this is basically if true then. But I just I, I just made it uh, if not debounce then so um you, you know now now let's make the debounce to true then uh, I will paste this right here okay so print coin collected so if the debounce is true it will print the coin collected okay let's try it out. So when you touch it, it will only it will only um, print it once. Uh, uh, the reason why it only printed once is because um, 
Vadibans is uh, true forever. Vadibans va variable is true forever because um, if not Dbans, then uh, it will make the Dbans equals to true. Okay, so um, to to make uh, to use uh, Dbans as a cooldown, you have to press enter, then wait uh, three seconds. Uh, you can you can add any number you want, but I prefer three seconds. Uh, this is not uh, three minutes like um like the other scripting languages, but this is seconds. Okay, so um we're going to make the debounce equals to false. Uh, after three seconds, it's going to make the debounce uh, to false. Then it will print coin collected again, and it will make the debounce true. Then after three seconds, it will make it false again. Uh, that's basically how debounce works. Yeah, you can make debounce as a uh, uh, to to make everything happen only once, or maybe uh, use debounce as a cooldown. Okay, yeah, I touched the coin, uh, um, the coin generator. Okay, now it printed again. Look, it printed again. See, look at that. Uh, all of my body parts are touching it uh, um, at, at the same time, but I used a D-band, so um, it's fixed now. So yeah, uh, th that's the purpose of d And now let's uh, let's do another way on how to do this, uh, on how to use d -bands. Uh You see this here, local d equals false. Uh, we will make everything here the opposite. Okay, so... Um, I'm going to make the debounce to true here. Then, uh, if not debounce, then we're going to remove the uh, uh, the not. Then this one, I'll make this to false. Then this to true. Uh, it will it will still work. It will still work. It's the same thing. So the debounce is true. And if uh, if debounce then debounce equals false. If debounce is false, then the then the coin collected uh, message will be printed to the output. So and uh, 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 wait three seconds. Uh, de then the debounce will be true. If the debounce is true, then um, it it will be printed again, and then the debounce will be false again. So yeah. Uh, let's try it. Okay, look, see, look at, look at, look at the output. It's still working. So yeah, um, that's how you use the bounce, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you learned something new from me. And uh. Bye guys, uh, thank you for watching my video, see you in the next video. <coughs>